From December of 1992 to May of 1993, Operation Restore Hope was carried out through the United Nations Security Council 794. The purpose is to create a protective environment for humanitarian operations within the southern half of Somalia, which was in turmoil due to civil war. After the killing of Pakistani peacekeepers by Mohammed Faradid and his tribal clan, the United Nations Security Council passed Resolution 837, allowing peacekeeping troops to use all the necessary force to continue the humanitarian operation. The UN determined Idid was the largest thug trying to gain control of southern Somalia. There are many other smaller groups also contributing to turmoil and unrest. The country, for the most part, was in disarray and armed gangs were trying to seize control and interfering with the humanitarian relief being carried out by the UN. Operation Gothic Serpent, carried out by the U.S. Special Ops, was an operation in the overall mission to restore hope. The objective of Operation Gothic Serpent was to allow Task Force Ranger to focus in on all the different leaders and their gangs that were interfering with the UN's mission to deliver some sort of organized peace to the country. Operation Gothic Serpent took place from August to October of 1993. The operation was codenamed Task Force Ranger. The highly trained soldiers from the Rangers, Delta Force, and Night Stalkers were given the mission. During August and September, Task Force Ranger experienced success in capturing leaders close to Adid. Based on intelligence, Adid and some of his top men were going to meet at a hotel in Mogadishu. 160 men from Task Force Ranger were assembled, waiting for the code word Irene, which meant that the targets were at the location. On October 3rd at 2.45 p.m., commanders received the confirmation that the High Valley targets were at the hotel in Mogadishu. At 3.30 p.m., codename Irene was given. 19 helicopters, Blackhawks, and Little Birds, along with 12 vehicles, headed for the target site. The convoy heads out, followed by the helicopters. Heading out over the Indian Ocean, the Blackhawks and Little Birds form up and circle and head to the target site. The Little Birds deploy Delta Force onto the street in front of the target. Private Black Bear misses the rope and falls. A sergeant rushes to the seriously wounded private. As Delta Force is gathering the suspects inside the building, a large group of Somalis start to engage the Rangers in a firefight. 100 feet above the target, Super 6-1 is hit by a rocket-propelled grenade. Super 6-1 ends up crashing southwest of the target. Super 6-4 is also struck by a rocket-propelled grenade and is spinning out of control and crashes violently into an open lot northwest of the target. The convoy commander radios that the prisoners are in custody. Rangers, along with the convoy, are going to head out and try to secure the crash site of Super 6-4. The Rangers are having extreme difficulty making it to the crash site due to the intense fighting with armed Somalis. In the meantime, Master Sergeant Gordon and Sergeant First Class Shugar are deployed by a little bird to the crash site of Super 6 Ford. Chief Warrant Officer Durant is still alive. At the same time, a large number of armed Somalis have reached the crash site and after a fierce fight, the two sergeants would lose their lives and Durant would be taken prisoner. The convoy is lost and many of the men have been wounded or killed. The convoy breaks off and heads back to the base with the prisoners. Night has fallen and the rangers that are on foot are in defensive positions near the crash site of Super 64 fighting with the armed Somalis. Overhead, little birds will continue to strafe the area trying to keep the Somalis from overrunning and killing all the rangers throughout the night. At the base, which is also the local soccer stadium, the dead and wounded are being cared for and commanders are trying to assemble a rescue convoy. Early in the morning of October 4th, a heavily armed convoy leaves the soccer stadium to remove the dead bodies from the first crash site and pick up the stranded rangers at the second crash site. At the second crash site, the pilot and the two Delta Force soldiers are nowhere to be found. The convoy leaves and several of the rangers have to run the mile and a half back to the stadium due to the lack of room in the convoy. The mission was a success. 21 high valley targets were captured. Task Force Ranger paid a heavy price. The U.S. soon after the mission would leave Somalia. The U.N. was left to continue the mission of restore hope without the U.S. presence. It would become overwhelming for the UN force. The people of Somalia would continue to suffer the most. Disease, starvation, and terrible living conditions would continue to plague the small country. It almost seems that the world doesn't even care. The US administration at the time did not have the foresight or the willingness to stay in Somalia after American Slaughter soldiers being dragged through the streets. 20 years after Operation Restore Hope, the people in Somalia still do not have a stable and safe country. Nobody asks to be a hero. It just sometimes turns out that way. <laughs>